What's up, riders? Uh, another week, another ride home review. This week, I am talking about Papillon, which stars Remy Malik, Remy Malik, sorry, and uh, Charlie Hunnam, and directed by Michael Knower. Um, before I get into it, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss any of the ride home reviews. Um, plus the anchor channel, which has the ride home reviews, plus some other stuff, which I'm stockpiling. I haven't gotten to yet, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Uh, like on Facebook, follow on Instagram. So uh, at ride home reviews on all of them. At ride home reviews. So the movie Papillon is based on a true story, um, and it's also I don't want to say it's a remake, but it kind of is. I mean, there was a Papillon movie made in the '70s with Steve McQueen and. Uh, Dustin Hoffman um, that I didn't really care for uh, then um, and so uh, so yeah it's basically about um, the character of Papillon who is convicted and sent to a f penal colony in um, French Guiana and uh, uh, he's French so and then he'd be friends quote unquote a uh, millionaire who's sent to the same penal colony, um, Louis Degas, and it continues with uh, their friendship throughout the years that they're there, and uh, what, you know, the trials and tribulations, so therefore, um, it is very difficult. What I liked about the film, this one um, especially, uh, was uh, the art direction, the production design, uh, costuming. Um, they went period on this and I thought they did a really good job, especially contrasting with the uh, footage that they used at the end of the film. Um, uh, the uh, makeup, um, just the entire feel of that oppressiveness of the prison. Um, uh, you know, I thought that the chemistry between Charlie Hunnam and Remy Malek was really good. Those two uh, really showed that they formed a bond, um, and and I liked that story. And I thought that the story had uh, just did what it needed to do with its ups and downs and its intensities and its uh, uh, trials and you know what the characters had to go through. Um, you know just just the whole feel of it, I thought they did a really good job at creating that uh, oppressiveness for the most part. Um, and not only that, the cinematography was great in, in that, um, in which it just was real stark in the prison, but when they got, when they had a chance to see the ocean and stuff like that, it's just, just some of the, the contrast between the beauty of the ocean and the, uh, uh, you know, the oppressiveness of the prison, I thought they did it a really good job at um, developing that, developing the prison almost as its own character of you can't escape me, you are stuck with me, you are, you know, and those transitions and stuff like that. That was really good. What I didn't care for was I didn't really feel like it was French. Um, it, it just didn't have the French accents, it didn't have the French, it just felt like a New York City, you know, I just, it just didn't have that feel. Um, I felt that Charlie Hunnam looked too much like Steve McQueen. Um, I know it was a throwback and tried to go back to that, but I thought it was too too much, but for the most part. But the thing to watch for the most is Charlie Hunnam's physical uh, characteristics as he gets, just watch um, as, as, as he progresses throughout the film um, of his characteristic, uh, his physical characteristics. I thought it was a huge detail with that. So all in all, um, it was an okay film. It was it was uh, has its intensities. It's sad, um, and at the same time, you know, there's this bond between friends. So there you have it. Whatever you think, you think. Um, but that's my take on it. And as always, like I said, ride home reviews on everything: YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Anchor. So until next week, watch something cool. Later.